Hey everybody, it's Coach Brian. Um, we're going to be doing a quick beam um, video for you guys at home. This is my granddaughter Giselle. She's going to be our demonstrator today and she is thrilled and happy to do it, correct? <laughs> the beam behind us, um, if you do not have a beam at home, uh, this is one of the beams that we make. If you are interested in us making a beam for you, delivering it to your house so that you can actually have the kids perform on the beams, we're happy to do that. We have a couple made already. Um, these videos would be better if you had a beam. But a real soft area, a uh, double carpet area would probably be just fine. Uh, does that help you jump up on the beam for me right there in the center? Okay. And you're not going to face the uh, camera. I want you to face the long part of your beam. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over foot positions. We're going to go over body positions. We're going to go over arm positions. And then we're going to go do a couple of dance skills. This is going to be a short video. But we're going to do some leg kicks. We're going to do um, some jumps. Some just basic stuff on beam that you can do at home safely. And um, it'll keep your kids busy and out of you. So watch this. Um, first of all, we're going to work on your arms. And when you're on beam, you want to have your arms out. You want to have it's kind of like you want to drop your wrist and lift your fingers. So you want to drop your wrist, lift your fingers. Nice soft hand with your thumbs tucked under. Your head's going to be forward, looking down the long part of your beam. Your chest is going to be out, your shoulders out. Not too much arch in the back, okay? And when we stand on the beam, we want to try to make sure that our head is up too, okay? Because the gymnast's position is always we want to look like a dancer. We want to look like we're proud of ourselves, okay? So let's start in this position and we're just going to start with our feet together for now. Just a simple two feet together, okay? Our arms are going to be down like this, arms straight, a little bend in the arm, sorry, a little bend in the arm, arms round. And what I want you to do is when I count to three, I want you to go back to that arms position out, okay? You ready? One, two, three, arms out, good. Drop your wrist a little bit, chin in up. You want to have nice, elegant hands. You kind of want to just drop your wrist and lift your fingers and tuck your thumb, your thumb under. So you get a nice, soft hand. Again, shoulders back, chest up, head up, okay? Back to the round position where we start. Good. And remember, you want to have your eyes set down when you're in this position, but when you lift your arms, you want to lift your head up, okay? So, round position, and now stretch position. And bless you. <laughs> Arms out. And you always going to have a nice smile on your face, too. That's important. Okay? Especially in gymnastics. You want everybody to know you're having a good time. Okay? Okay, back to round position. And stretch position again. And now we're going to do round position with the arms over your head. So the round position with your arms over your head is the same position as down. She's going to keep sneezing on me. And slight bend in the arms. Your hands. Like you're holding a ball over your head. Your gaze is still forward, okay? And you want to have not too much arch. You got a little bit too much arch for that, okay? Straight, a little bit bent, more bent in your arms. Good. Okay, and back down to round. Good. Head up and stretch position. Nice. Very good. And round over your arms position. Good, like you're holding a ball. And back down to this position. We're going to do that 10 times. Ready? Everybody at home ready? Okay, round position and stretch position. Nice. Round position over your arm, uh, over your head. And then back down to this position. That's one. We're going to do number two. Stretch position. Correct. Good. And round over your head position. Good. And back down to soft. And when you bring your arms back down, you just kind of want to bring them down soft. Okay. And arms up. Stretched. Good. And up. And soft down and back to round. And stretch and up. And arms down soft and back to round. Again, arms stretch, arms up, arms soft and back to round. One more time. And stretch and up, arms back around and to this position. And, and really think about these. You really want to concentrate on having a soft arm. When you bring them up, you want to stretch. That needs to be nice and snappy. When you come up, you want to be soft. When you come back down, you want to be soft as well, okay? The arm positions are very important to practice. I know it seems simple, but it's pretty much everything on being. You really want to look nice in the being. You want to be snappy, and you want to look elegant and like a dancer on being, okay? All right, stand on the being for me, and I want you just to slightly put one foot ahead of the other and turn your feet. We're going to turn your feet out a little bit. To there and to there. We're going to turn out a little bit. 
I stretched again, okay? Good. We're gonna turn your feet out a little bit on the beam in what they call fourth position. Your foot's kind of sitting in the middle of your, of your foot, okay? A lot of skills on beam, um, especially the dance skills, we wanna make sure our toes are wrapped around the edges of the beam so that it kind of gives us a little bit more support. When you're tumbling on the beam, they tend to have one foot slightly in front of the other, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna work some dance skills, okay? So we're gonna work with your toes on the edge of the beam. I want you to go around arms. We're gonna go demi plie, and then I want you to go straight. Demi plie is just a slight bend of the legs, okay? You're gonna go demi plie, and then you're gonna straighten back out again. When you straighten back out, lift your head up, lift your chest up, okay? And back to demi plie, and straighten again. And demi plie, and straighten again, good. Now we're gonna do what's called releve, which means go up on your toes. It means to kind of, in French it just means to kind of lift up, okay? So we're gonna go demi plie, slight bend of the knees, going to straight, and now we're gonna to go to releve, way up on your toes, and try to bring your ankles close together. This one's gonna be in front. Squeeze your legs together, straighten this leg, good. And then go back down to fourth position, with your toes close to the edges of the beam. Good, good. And demi plie again, demi. Now you're ready. We're gonna go all the way up to the releve and bring our arms up. So all the way up, releve, squeeze your ankles together, and back down to plie, okay? Play a little bit more. You ready? We're gonna do nine inches, you ready? And releve, good girl, nice. All the way up, legs real straight. Good, much better. Now back down to plie. Good, 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 good. If you feel more comfortable with it all the way out turned out fit, that's great, okay? You ready? And releve, bring your feet together. Good. And back down to plie. Good girl, good. And she's turning out her feet very well. She's getting her toes very close to the edge, very close here in what's more of a fifth position. Some girls do a little bit more of a fourth position. She's doing a fifth. Feet are a little bit bigger, okay? Let's try it again, ready? And plie in this position. Plie first, sorry. Plie and releve. Good girl, hold tight. Squeeze your legs really, really tight. And back to, and back to plie. Say it with me this time, ready? Plie, plie, and releve. Arms up, looking good. A little bit more bend of the arms, good. And back down, correct. All right, walk all the way down to your end of your beam here. That's a good drill to work over and over. It's, it is difficult. The plie part of it is easy, but the releve when you have to bring your feet together and go way up in your ankles, it takes a little bit of practice. You have to really hold your ankles tight and you have to squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your legs. Pull your diaphragm up tall and pull your shoulders up. With your head not looking up, but looking forward. A little bit of gaze at your hands, okay? All right, we're gonna work on some step kicks. So out to the stretch position. And step kicks, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do them stationary first. We're gonna have our arms out, and we're just gonna lift your leg up. Keep your base leg straight. This is your base leg, this is your kick leg, and then bring it back down, and let's put it in fit, like you were before. Turn the foot out, good, ready? Get your balance, arms out stretched, point your toe, point your toe, and kick. Good, try to hold your arms still, back to, back to fit. Good, okay, arms out, good. Now lift your leg, lift, kick, point kick, good, and come right back to fit, good. Now watch her point this toe, good. Now lift your leg, and then come back to the point, and then come back to fit, and straighten that front leg. Straight. Ready? Let's do it together. Arms out. Point and lift your leg. Point and fit. And straight legs. Straight. And this is my other grand dog. All right, we're going to do five more of them. Ready? Arms out. Point your toe. Lift. Point. Fit. Both, le both legs straight. Squeeze your butt. Ready? Point. Lift. Down. Straight. Straight legs. Now, you want to brush the foot and lift the leg at the same time. So you're going to brush and lift at the same time. So brush, lift, and back to fifth. Good. Straight leg in the front. Straight leg and back to fifth. Here's the fifth. Fifth position. Okay. 
Try not to lick with your abs and you see this right here. Giselle does not have a big tummy, but she's sticking it out, okay? This time you're gonna do lift, 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 fit. Watch, to your point, we go lift, 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 back to fit. You ready? Try that, lift, 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 back to fit. Now did you see her kind of wiggle around a little bit? It takes some practice and you wanna just use your hip flexor and you wanna use your quadricep. You don't want to use your tummy because it's gonna make you look like you're a bird, okay? You don't wanna look like a bird. Ready? Let's try it again. Fifth position, arms turned out, out here. Good. Ready and lift. Two, three, four, and four. Good job, very good. All right. Now let's kind of recap what we just did. Okay, so she's gonna show you the actual fifth position on the beach. That's fifth position, fifth position, and this position, fifth position, straight leg in the front. Good, squeeze, good, perfect. Okay, so show me start position, arms rounded, and then you lift your arms out, stretch position, where should your head be? Where should your head be? Good, now lift your arms up, move your legs the way they are, and then back down. Okay, so we have the arms rounded, we have the stretch to the side position, and then we have the arms overhead position. We're trying to keep our feet turned out in what we call fifth position, close in the front. If you have tiny feet, maybe close in the middle, or whichever makes you feel comfortable with the floor to fit. Try to keep your toes to the edge of the beam, and then you're gonna have your arms rounded, you're gonna have your arms stretched, you're gonna have your arms rounded. Notice when I went up, I kind of looked up at my hands, but I don't want my head back, okay? Then we were working the kicks, okay? Can you show them the kicks again? We're gonna start in the fifth position, okay? And we're going to kick and come back to fit. And kick, come back to fit. Try to choose your tummy. You can tell these are hard because she's getting tired of it. You can tell because there's a little bit of frown. Because sometimes people get tired, so all the girls do, and it's okay. Thank you very much for helping us, okay? We have the small bean here that we do make. You can also buy these online um, at our website, or you can just give us a call. We're happy to make one. We can get one out to you within a day. Price is around $160. Um, it's got a nice little soft cushion to the top. It's got a nice vinyl side to it that's nice and hard. And it's got two little feet on the end so that it won't tip. Um, it's approximately six feet long. And the width of the beam is approximately three to four inches wide. This is my other granddaughter, just popping by to say hi. Comment at the bottom. And please also subscribe to our channel so that you get more of our videos. Thank you.